work across the 7 Newton area, we're going to take each of these samples of glass and we're going to basically impact them with this ball impact uh, demonstration. So what we have here is the alternative alumina silicate glass. And if you look really close, you can see the scratch that's in the glass. That's, that represents the sample right here. So we're going to put this sample into the holder and we're going to impact it with this ball. And we're going to have basically a failure of that sample. That, that scratch is very strength limiting. If you look at that under a microscope, this is what you see. Very strength limiting sample. You can put Corning Gorilla Glass 3, same, same scratch load, much less visible scratch. Has this kind of behavior to it. We'll do the same incline. Go ahead and impact that. No failure, no fracture. See? But we've also increased the retained strength with Gorilla Glass 3. So just to show that, what we're going to do is we're going to ratchet this up a little bit. We're going to increase the energy by 3x. And we're going to take actually a piece of aluminum that's the same thickness as the glass, just to demonstrate the kind of energy and the impact that we're seeing here. Look this in here. What you can see is that puts a really nice dent in a sheet of aluminum. So we're not joking around in terms of the amount of energy that we're putting into the glass when we drop this ball on it. We can do that same drop with Gorilla Glass 3 again. Get a nice rebound, still no failure in the sample. So it's still intact. Again, that's the scratch that you see over here, the scratch that you see here in the sample. But not even to stop there, we can take the same sample over here and put it on our lever press. We, we can load this all the way up to 100 pounds and it will not break. Really increase the retained strength by up to 40% higher than Gorilla Glass 2. So, a little background on the demonstration.